Sunday's exit polls weren't exactly a surprise. The right-wing alliance led by Giorgia Milani's Brothers of Italy party now looks poised for a clear majority in the next parliament. The alliance also includes Matteo Salvini's far-right league and Silvio Berlusconi's conservative Forza Italia. The Brothers of Italy party was established in 2012, but it can trace its roots back to the neo-fascist social movement group, which was set up after World War II. The group, which later became the National Alliance, was absorbed into Berlusconi's center-right People of Freedom Party in 2009. Just three years later, Giorgia Milani, along with a few other politicians, split from the party to launch Brothers of Italy. Despite her insistence that the party isn't fascist, Milani does count Mussolini's descendants among her allies. And as a teenage activist, she spoke openly about her admiration for the former dictator. I believe Mussolini was a good politician, which means that everything he did, he did for Italy. Since being established, the Brothers of Italy have seen a steady rise, going from just 4% of the vote in the 2018 elections to winning a 24% approval rating this month. But the party still struggles to shake off its fascist origins. The tricolor flame in its logo is the same one used by the neo-fascist Italian social movement group from the 1940s. Today, the party holds a socially conservative line, opposing gay marriage while promoting what it says are traditional family values. Their policies have also struck a chord with those concerned with immigration in the country. Let it be clear that you only enter Italy legally. You don't enter Italy illegally. There is a serious way of doing things, a so-called sea blockade on the Mediterranean. While the party says it would not push for an exit from the European Union, it does want reforms in the bloc. In sharp contrast to fellow right-wing leaders, Milani has openly supported military aid for Ukraine in its war with Russia.